I've got no roots, but my home was never on the ground. I've got no roots, but my home was never on the ground. So I don't have everything from this session on video because we were not filming the whole time. But before I started working on lunging with him, I was just getting him to move off at the shoulder and the hind end and backing away and yielding to my hand on his side where my leg would be when I'm on him and just doing basic groundwork like that before sending him out on a lunge circle. He's fully tacked and he has the bridle on over top of his rope halter, but the lunge line and the reins in later clips are just attached to the rope halter. He has nothing attached to the bit yet. The sole purpose of him wearing the bit is just so that he can get used to it in his mouth. Simon is still quite new to lunging, so we mostly do trot with some canter just to get him used to responding to voice commands for downward and upward transitions. He gets a little excited at the canter still, which is why you can see him scooting in some of these clips, because he likes to go fast. He's more or less mostly used to free lunging, where he gets to run around as fast as he feels like. So whenever anything excites him while he's on the lunge line, he still does try to do the same types of things. But he's a baby, so that's okay sometimes. So long as he's not kicking out at me, it doesn't really bother me too much at this stage. But I do ask him to come back when he's getting too fast, and he responds pretty well. So since he's new to lunging, sometimes he'll get a bit stuck when I'm trying to change directions or ask him to move out. And I haven't actually lunged him to the right yet, so this is his first time going to the right. So to fix that, I ask him to move off at the shoulder again, and then I do an open hand and kind of sh shuffle his feet to the side and get him moving out again. And then he heads out back on the circle. I generally always lunge young horses with the lunge whip because it keeps them a little further out and gives me an extension of my arm in case they get silly or start kicking anywhere near me. Lunge whips are not for hitting contrary to the beliefs of some people and I get my horses used to being rubbed down with them before I actually use them because I don't want them being overly reactive or afraid of them. So before I started lunging Simon in this session I did do that but it was before we started filming. And that little scoot that Simon had there was because the baby in the field next door was having a bit of a play, and he thought that was very exciting. Since Simon's only three, these types of reactions are very normal, and they don't really deserve to be harshly reprimanded or anything like that, so I kind of just let him go forward while talking to him and asking him to come back, and then he generally listens pretty well and comes back on his own. With babies, no matter how okay they seem to be with the saddle, anytime I tighten it, I always send them back out at a trot before doing anything else or even considering getting on them, just in case, because sometimes they do get a little humpy or cautious of the saddle when it's tightened, so this just kind of takes the stress away from that and lets them figure it out on their own instead of having them realize the girth has been tightened once a rider is on them. Simon's last trot lap was super relaxed and he stopped really nicely so that showed me that he was ready to come back from the lunge and start working because he relaxed really nicely and had a nice loose trot. I had backed Simon once before this and my mom led him on the line for a short period of time and then I just jumped right off. So this was the first day that he'd actually been off the line. Prior to taking him off the line today, my mom did lead him around a lap around the arena just to make sure he was quiet and okay with everything, and then I went it on my own. And when horses are learning how to carry a rider, they get stuck where they'll stop and kind of be unsure what to do. So to get him going for this, I do an opening rein to just ask him to take a step in any direction that he will. And then that's usually what gets them unstuck and walking again. And this is super non-invasive and doesn't really get them stressed in the way that kicking them lots or using a whip would. So I just use a little bit of leg and then open that rein to ask him to step over and then he gets going. It's very normal for them to stop motion and kind of go forward and then stop. So I wasn't really concerned at all about this and I was super proud with how he handled it. 
So basically today I just played around with flexing him and just getting him to walk forward and further away from my mom because he wanted to stay close to the middle with her because he was a little unsure. So today was just about getting him to walk in a circle and turn and stop and just be responsive to leg and comfortable walking forward. And he did a really good job of this. I was really proud of him. I didn't trot him at all today because I wanted to end on a good note and he had been so perfect that I didn't really feel there was any need to push it. So with young horses, forward is your ultimate goal. So as soon as they respond to leg, even if it's just a step, there should be automatic release and praise. So when Simon listens to me, when I ask him to halt or go forward, I praise him with either a cookie or a release of pressure when it's asking for forward. I don't use treat praises for forward because you have to bring them to a stop to praise them and then you're praising the wrong behavior. So with him, it's the release of pressure and then a verbal cue of good boy or a pat on the neck. And because I'm sure someone will not be able to help themselves, I just want to make it clear that I am not a heavy rider at all. I have long legs, but I am very light. And in terms of weight for Simon to carry, my weight is perfectly within range. And in all honesty, liability-wise, when you're training young ponies, it makes no sense to get children on them because it is very hard to find children with the skills to break them appropriately. So small adults are generally the ones who break ponies to ride. And that's what I'm doing in this case for Simon because in all honesty, I just don't want to get sued because I'm too prideful to ride him because I look tall, even if it doesn't hurt him. So before anyone suggests that, I don't want to get sued and I don't want to endanger a kid or put Simon in a place where he's not learning from someone experienced enough to teach him. I don't know if any of you guys noticed that little spook that Simon had in that clip, but he didn't really go anywhere. He just kind of had a startle. With a lot of horses, if they spook the first couple times with a rider on them, sometimes they start panicking at having a rider on them since a rider is in the position that a predator would be for a flight animal. And I'm really proud of him that he didn't have a bigger reaction as it's not uncommon to have bigger reactions to fear when they're first getting used to carrying a rider. So he handled it all really well and especially because of his past and how nervous he was just three months ago. I'm so proud of how he's handled all of this.